guys, it's Elizabeth of ERWplans.com and Elizabeth Williamsburg Planner Concept. You can find us on Instagram at ERW underscore plans. You can find us on Patreon at ERWplans.patreon.com and you can find us on our website ERWplans.com. Today, I'm going to show you how I'm planning my content for August in my 2020 uh, Amplify Planner. The first thing we're going to do, I will go over the tools I will be using today. Uh, we have the Amplify Planner, of course, in uh, Dusty Rose for quarter three. I have my spatula tool. I have my Tombow two-way correction tape and eraser. I have my Midori ruler, um, a couple of my favorite pens actually, so I'll just put them both out here. Uh, my mild liners of course, and then this is a modified sticker kit. Uh, the August one for this year is uh, Lemons and Lavender, however I decided to play around with some sunflowers and really liked the result of what I was playing around with so we're going to test that out today and see how well that fits and maybe that will be next year's August kit. Uh, I don't know. Leave a comment if you'd like to see sunflowers for next August. I tend to do things that are kind of yellow uh, in August so there we go and let's get started. Before um, I started the video just so we don't have a lot of shots of me you know, scribbling things. I did um, do the content planning already, uh, and it will show you very briefly where I did that last week. Here we go. Um, and just to go over it very quickly, uh, the content planning as I'm doing it, figure out your goals for your content, what you want it to do, uh, brainstorm five overall topics, that you'd want people to search for when they're looking for your content. Then we're going to mind map out uh, things that are related to those. From there, we will do a topic brainstorm with just topic words and then come up with our headlines. So I did that already. It took me about, um, I want to say like 20, 30 minutes. And since we've done that, we can move right on to August. I had started my August planner when I was setting it up for quarter three, putting in my content uh, when I was going to make this my planner for all content. And then I realized I have way more uh, between my sticker business and my photography business. I have way more content than can fit in one planner. So what I'm going to be doing today is uh, we're going to change what's already in the planner in order to just make this for my photography business. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sticker this as I always do. So essentially I figured at this point you guys have watched hopefully enough of my videos to know my method for stickering. Uh, if you don't check out literally any of my plan with me's where you can see me sticker. I just realized when I was moving things around I ended up with some black smudge on my finger. It's gone now. Um, but yeah, uh, basic things that I do when I'm planning um, for video only is I start upside down because I don't want you guys to see the top of my head in all of these videos when I'm bending over because even though I wear glasses I am still kind of nearsighted. Um, everything looks great, like crystal clear, but I just, as a habit from being nearsighted for so long, I tend to work really closely, like, with my page. Like, if this is my face, it's, like, right here hovering over the page uh, if I'm looking at something far away. So we'll just do this pretty much cl from close up. Um, yeah. So I tend to go top down if I have anything like these blocks here. And I always do this. They need to get covered up. I, you want to cover those up before you put on your uh, monthly headers. So, I mean, I'm from the passion planner world, so we would call these gray boxes usually. So I'm just going to cover that up here. Um, as I said earlier, I have stuff already written in here because I had done a quarter's worth of planning of YouTube videos. And 
And what had happened was that I then ended up getting uh, so much content for my planner videos. I found like I needed to dedicate an entire planner just to doing planner content. So I ended up buying a third passion planner for the year. Um, I have the large goal setter gray that is 100% dedicated to setting up my planner content. And I basically spent yesterday setting that up to see how well my plan for setting up content works. Uh, so that when I do this video, everything works out pretty smoothly. Hopefully. Um, as always, as you guys know, I like to have my little rulers here to make every, sure everything's as even as possible. I'm trying to make sure I have my head's not in this because I'm, my, I can, you know, you, you do something out of habit and you can kind of just feel like, like I can feel my head creeping into frame there. All right. That set up. And I did the thing I told you guys not to do. I forgot to cover these up before I put my days of the week on. I at least did fix my sticker kits when I did this August test to make sure that everything, all my days line up. If you watched the uh, um, video where I set up my July planner you'll see that I didn't have everything quite lined up yet. Um, Amplify Planner, if you didn't know, just launched, God, um, I wanna say back in June, I think July is when the, the first planners went out. I have had one since April, um, and I wasn't sure about doing stickers for it. Cause you know, this is like Chelsea Brown's baby and I didn't want to like kind of step on toes and be like, hey, I'm gonna do stickers for yours. If she wanted to be like the exclusive sticker salesperson. Um, Cause some planner companies seem to be going into this, we want to do it all. Da, 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 da. We do it all kind of mentality. And it feels like they almost kind of resent you when you do stickers for their planners. So I didn't want to do that. So I kind of waited to talk to her and I didn't get around to talking to her for a while because of COVID. So, long story short, um, by the time I was designing this, I needed to get kits out, which is why my first kit is in, is for September in the shop. Um, and so because of that, because I hadn't really started on um, these kits until September, when I started looking at ones to do for like 31 days, I had, this was all kinds of off because I had adjusted it to have 30 days and it just didn't work out. Um, as I've shown you on other videos, if you mess up like I did and you don't get everything exactly straight, and this works with my stickers, Chelsea's stickers, most stickers, just slide your spatula tool underneath and that will allow you to move your sticker. Without ripping so that you can have everything much more straight and even. There we go. So anyway, back to what I was saying. So um, this was, wasn't was right because I had waited so long to do it that I didn't do it like May or July's. Um, I'd only done one for like June just to test it for myself when I was testing out the planner. So then when I did my video last month, how embarrassing was it to sit down to do my video and I have 30 days instead of 31 on the habit tracker. That was friggin' awful. But we fixed that for this month and months going forward, so that'll be exciting. Um, that's not where I wanted this. So yeah, what I'm doing right now is I'm setting up my little my five boxes here, divided it into five. 
Um, like I said, this is a whole custom kit that I did specifically for doing this video. Um, if you want this kit, because I have designed it, uh, you can just request it as a custom order in the Etsy shop. And I can get this out to you without the usual custom order um, fee, unless you wanted it to be like a Monday start, in which case there'd have to be a custom order fee. Anyway, just a thought, if you like this. I like this one, actually, after designing it, I like it better than my lemons one, so that's why I'm using it. So I was just kind of playing around, I was like, ooh, this is cute. So anyway. As you can see, it's not like fully, this one isn't fully designed for necessarily doing content. Um, because it still has like all my payday stickers, day off stickers and stuff that I'm not going to use. So anyway, so there we are. We now have the entire kit stickered uh, in almost record time, dare I say, uh, for doing these videos. And so the next thing I'm going to do is prep to get my content in there. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to start uh, putting the white out over what I'd already prepped um, when this was supposed to be the content planner for everything for both businesses because that was kind of ridiculous. Um, I can show you July I tried to is when I first tried to do it as a content planner for both businesses and as you can see I just kind of failed to even keep track of the things that I was supposed to be doing it was kind of ridiculous so, so I have two different sets of promotions going I have two different needs etc so just gonna go in here I've already transferred all of the details that I'm whiting out right now into my passion planner that's going to be my content planner for all things stickers and if you're wondering why I use this correction pen over others a it's refillable which I really like because then I'm using less plastic there's less waste um, I'm really big on kind of recycling not having a lot of waste um, and with this if when you run out you just squeeze it here pull this out this will come out and then I can put new a new roll in and I also like that I have the little eraser in the back here and that it's retractable so I don't end up wasting a lot of stuff okay so um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to now that I have everything as a blank canvas I'm gonna go ahead and start with my content goals um, the actually the first thing I'm gonna do Now I've got this all squared away, what I'm going to do is start planning my content. Um, when you're doing a content plan, the first thing you want to do is start with goals and kind of move down. So I've got my sale goal, um, my sales goal, ooh, which is senior clients, new subscribers, and I think we want to get to 1,000 followers on Insta. So there's my sales goals, and we're gonna move right into our promotions, um, which we're gonna have a 75% off day. Um, I'm not sure I think we have anything else that I've planned for that. I think that's the only big sales promotion there. Uh, my funnels, which will be the new subscribers. And then subscribe to, and then we have the post sales filter. Uh, if you don't under, if you don't know about uh, your funnels, that's something for a completely different video. I'm not going to go over that, but um, essentially you're going to have different buckets or funnels for customers uh, if you're setting that up, and then the way that that's set up you can use the ADA formula uh, you can use the dream formula you can use both uh, not going to go over that too too much um, topics is where we're going to first go 
uh, end up with where our brainstorming had ended up. So let me just kind of mark this page out because I'm going to need to refer to this frequently. So we have three main topics that I brainstormed out. You could brainstorm out more, but my three main topics are going to be in your all right, and then my content tasks, these are relatively the same. Um, all right, content. All right, social posts. All right, there's usually seven or eight tasks on there. Um, what I want to do next is kind of, I want to go skip, skip right to the habit tracker, um, here. So my habits for my content here, it's going to be post to Instagram, uh, write content. I need to write something almost daily. Um, what other habits am I going to need? Oh, one business task every day. And let's see here. Uh, oh. Do inquiries. I am the Worse for following up with inquiries right away. So, my monthly focus is seniors. Okay, tasks for the month. All right, so we've got my tasks set out for my marketing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set up my month. Uh, two things I want to start with. First, I want to go ahead and put in my stickers for the monthly holidays. And I will explain why when I'm done, or as I'm doing it, I should say. Um, essentially, I like to use the monthly holidays as a guide for my content when I'm posting it. Um, a lot of times a hashtag will trend because of the funny, funky holiday that it is. And so a good way to get a little bit, of, gain a little bit of ground in your content marketing is to kind of use these holidays not only as a springboard but also for the hashtags to kind of give you not only content ideas but also to uh, get a little bit more attention onto your content so because people are going to be searching for it or you know talking about it at that time so we want to do that um when i was setting this kit up i try to like not have like three or four days in a row of the same content or the same kind of like fun holidays and type things but it just worked out this way for my fun holidays. And this is more important, not for like email marketing this or blog posts. This is more for my Instagram marketing or Facebook or, you know, Snapchat, whatever it is. Okay, now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to set up my, I'm going to use these blank holiday stickers from the kit to set up important dates. Uh, sales dates, content dates, that sort of thing. So I'm going to start with our 75% uh, off day, which I'm going to make the, I'm going to make the 31st. So that gives me about a month to get everything sorted. And then I'm just going to go ahead with my micron and write 75% off sale day. And then we'll have a big event on the first. We'll do the website launch. Okay. And from there, we can have goals like, I want the I try, I try not to have the stickers overlap with the holidays whenever possible. So we'll make the fourth 
the day that the um, mailers go out. Then I'm going to need a second round of mailers, which will go out. I'm going to put those on the 29th, and those will be the 50% off. And then we'll do, let's see, what else do we have on our goal? So I need to have these ordered prior to that. Um, so I can't do that. We'll do the newsletter. I think it should go out here. Let's see, newsletters usually do better on Wednesdays. So we'll do a newsletter here. I kind of feel like I want to move my sale day up to the 24th. I don't really want to rush things, but on the other hand, I feel like the 31st is a little late for an August sale. So just move it up. And if it won't stick, I have two options. I can glue it down. These tend to go back down really well. Unlike some other stickers. There we go. Much better. That's why I like these. I can at least remove them once so I can move things around like that. <sighs> Mailers. Newsletter, mailers, sale day, website launch. We also need, um, oh. let's do a newsletter every eight days or so. No, we'll do it every two weeks, I think. I like the idea of stacking it up with World Photography Day, but we'll do it tomorrow as World Photography Day. Letter number two. And let's see here. I should do a newsletter on this day for the reps and non reps. All right. Um, I think that looks good for that perspective. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and start figuring out my content. Um, my goal is to do a blog post every other day for this month because this is a going to be a big month for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and start scheduling those in like this. Cool. Ooh, I want to do that every other well, good thing we have trusty correction tape here. Cool. So we'll fix that. And I've got my date covers here so that I can date cover over that and you won't even know. The question is, is this the highlighter I was using? like it. Cool. So then yeah we just go through. First thing I'm going to do is like I said set up my blog days. So I, like I, said, I decided to do every other day so like all my odd numbered days in August will be a blog post. And so I can just go in here Set this up and highlight all my odd numbered days. This is one of the things I like I do like about this spiral bound um, thing that the amplifier's got going on is that I can fold it over so I'm not working on a two page spread. I mean conversely the thing I don't like is when I want to work on a two page spread it's a little bit harder and I've asked Chelsea if she could please do a bound version instead of the spiral like a regular bound version. And the response was pretty much that that will happen if enough people adopt the uh, Amplify Planner. So if you're on the fence about it, I'd really like it if you started using this so I can get my, my a bound version. Just the spiral just kind of, like I said, there's, there's definite advantages to it. And there's some disadvantages to it. So... I missed my T-square right about now, but my cats broke my T-square. 
well, I helped. <laughs> but anyway, you know, they knocked it on the floor in the middle of the night, got up, stepped on it. That was the end of my T-square. So, the joy of living with cats. If you didn't know, I have two cats, Charlie and Nina, and they are my office cats. They are very helpful. They're also very mischievous, especially Charlie, because he's a baby. So, now that I have all of my dates highlighted, I'm just going to go in there and write blog post. Or just blog, I think. Okay. And I got my um, flex pen out. Uh, if I wanted to be very fancy about it and very deliberate in my writing, I could make this look exceptionally fancy. But I really just want to get this done. So remember, done is better than perfect. Okay. Now I have that done. What I want to do is quickly write in all of my blog post topics. So once we have all of our blog posts put in the calendar, what I'm going to do is go back to our blog post list here and I've actually put them in order I've numbered all of my topics or all of my headlines here um, from one to actually end up being 16 um, and what I'm going to do at this point is put them in order as really brief little topic sentences. Um, just like if you're, you remember in school where if you're writing an essay, you had a topic sentence and that became your first paragraph. We're gonna do the topic sentence in our planner here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in right now. Okay, so I went ahead and wrote in all of my blog post topics. What I also have done is added in areas for videos. Um, essentially what I've done is once I got my blog, blog post topics in, I took those topics and said, what would make a good video? And I put that into the video section. Um, now what I'm going to do next is I also have I don't just do senior photography, I also do headshot and women's photography. And the month of July was my headshot push, so I'm gonna have a lot of people going to my website looking for information about headshot and personal brand photography. So what I'm gonna try and, what I've gone through and done is highlighted the topics for my seniors that I think would also make a really easy, change a few words around, switch to headshot photography, where I'm posting every other day about seniors because that's my focus this month I'm still going to want to update my uh, clients who want personal brand and headshot photography so I'm going to I've set out once a week for those updates and then I'm just going to take these ones that I highlighted and stick them into those then I only have to write one blog post and I just flip some words around and I get a second blog post for a different audience out of it so, and one of the things I also find is sometimes when I'm writing a blog post about one topic, I kind of want to go off topic and talk about other things. And so it's a lot easier if I just, when I write my blog post, brainstorm the heck out of it, and then I can center those off into two different topics, one for my seniors, one for my corporate people. It's one of those moments where I really hate the spiral. In case you can't tell. Okay. So once I have all of that done, now we can focus on social media. All right, so once I have 
all of that outlined. The next thing I'm going to do is plan my social media. I've got my blue and my purple pens here. I'm going to go ahead and write in FB and IG for Instagram and Facebook based on the colors. And as you can see, because of where my blog posts fall, um, I'm not always writing IG and FB in the same place. Um, I try to leave a little bit of room between the blog post and the social media, but sometimes that doesn't always work. So I just kind of put them in based on how much room I need and where I have things at the bottom, at the top, etc., etc. This is just to give me some room to breathe, to make it easier to read. And of course on these tiny little days, I don't really have a choice. And then what I'm going to do is, after I've gotten the IGFB written in on all of these pages, um, I'm going to go ahead and write in the basic topic ideas. Um, again, much like the blog posts, this is just the thesis statement, so to speak, for your, uh, your social media post that you're going to make. This isn't a huge detailed description of what your post is gonna necessarily be about. And you know, it doesn't have to look cute. It just has to work. So if you ended up, you know, uh, white outing over a bunch of things like I did, that's kind of how this works. That's why it's a plan, it's not necessarily set in stone. It's just something that we're kind of working out here. You'll also probably notice that I keep my weekends fairly free of uh, blog posts, videos, big things, because I do like to keep my weekends to myself, so I don't want to be working on stuff over like Sundays, for example. Now we have some topics that I try to post about on a fairly regular basis, and that is going to make up for the uh, meat of the Instagram and Facebook planning here. So here's where the fun begins. I'm gonna go through, and I have these topics that I usually use um, to help me figure out what I'm writing. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the topics in in their appropriate spots, but we're also going to use the holidays and the blog posts to um, talk about, what, to figure this out. So for Instagram, we're gonna start with an about me post because it's girlfriend day that day and it's also blog post topic is talking about, you know, how COVID is affecting things. Those are both things that I can relate a personal story about, so we'll start there. Um, I like to keep my uh, Mondays for like Motivation Mondays or Inspiration Mondays. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do all my Mondays as Motivation and Inspo. And where my, where my topic like Inspiration has something relevant, like it's Thrift Shop Day and I have this unique ideas thing, I can just add that right in there. As you can see here on my Motivation Monday here, I'm just gonna add in like a little image of a s'more. Cool. All right. Cool. So I'll just go through my topics and add those in to my chart for my Instagram. I talked before about doing like dream marketing, which is part, which the, that will also inform this as well as just some general information like social proof, benefits, product services, behind the scenes, things that people like to see, if that makes sense. Okay, so like these where we have a beside, hide the seeds video, we'll do our behind the scenes. And you wanna make sure when you're doing things like behind this, when you're doing these topics, you know, brainstorm out all the possible topics and then kind of keep a log of which posts perform better and over time you can winnow it down to like seven topics and then do a different topic each day of the week. 
So once I've gotten all my Instagram in there, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my Facebook. Some of them are going to relate to my Instagram posts so that I'm not doing double duty. Some of them are gonna to relate to the blog posts because you don't wanna have the same content on both channels. But on the other hand, you don't wanna overwork yourself. So for some days, I'm gonna have uh, adjacent content, like there's an about me and then I update my profile photo. Other days, there's going to be a day where I'm talking about one thing on Instagram and I'm going to have a, like on a holiday. There'll be some days where on, there'll be a holiday, like let's say Book Lovers Day, that doesn't really translate to Facebook. So on that day, I'm going to talk about something else. And so I'll just take my blog post topics and my Instagram topics and then basically see which will fit better on Facebook. And if the blog post and the Instagram don't really fit on Facebook, I'm going to come up with a different type of post. Usually then I'm gonna try and do something similar, like, okay, a thrift shop day isn't gonna really work for my Instagram post and my blog post has nothing to do with that, but I can check in from a thrift store while I talk about the topic of the blog post. Maybe even do like a Facebook Live video. And I've definitely scheduled some Facebook Live videos which I can double record and use as IG content, that live content that same day. So this is my plan for August. Um, what happens next is I'm going to take my August plan and I'm going to show you in the next video for next week how I take that plan and fill it into my weeklies and then how I take that plan from my weeklies into my daily life. But you'll have to check out the next video to see how I do that. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, please remember to subscribe in the upper left-hand corner of your screen and also leave a comment letting me know if this was helpful to you for planning your blog post content. Uh, we go live every uh, week on Wednesday at 7 a.m. Mountain Time. And if you're interested in any of the products used, there are links in the description of this video. Thanks again, guys. See you next week.